Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, uh, I recently ordered some stuff to uh, upgrade my cooling system on my Dell Soul. So, I know uh, somebody, uh, one of my subscribers, actually, uh, you know, suggested that, but uh, I had already been thinking about that. You know, I just wanted to see how far and how long I can push my stock radiator on the Dell Soul. So, um, now it's, I think, cars about 400 horsepower range. Uh, it looks like it's time to go ahead and upgrade this uh, cooling system. So right here we got a, a nice little, you know, it's a nice little radiator, nothing fancy. Uh, it's not a big name brand or anything. It's something I've got it from, uh, matter of fact, I think I got it from Amazon. Um, inexpensive, dual core radiator. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. And then I got the hoses right in here as well. It makes no sense to uh, upgrade the radiator and use the old hoses that came with the car. I'm not even sure how long they've been in the car, but we got a nice little red silicone hose right here. And I got the fan shroud sitting back there. So sometime this week, I'm most likely going ahead and uh, take everything off this car. The bolts, of course, the exhaust and all that. Um, because the head, some of the head got to come off. So I'm going to bolt the exhaust and move everything out the way. Place the head gasket on it and um, install these. So I'm really looking forward to this job getting done because once I do go ahead and do all that, I'm gonna see how the car drives. I might go back and get a retune one more time. Um, some people might think it's unnecessary, but I just feel like the car would have made over 500 honestly if it wasn't for the coolant pushing out the reservoir. You know, cause that's when I told the tuner to stop. Uh, I told him to stop right there, man. Once I started doing it, we did like, I think one or two up pulls, and uh, that was that. So, with the cooling system being upgraded, I wanna go ahead and get it tuned one more time, and just, you know, see how much this car can make. Um, I feel like my setup is good for at least 500. So, I would like to get it there, and then just keep it there, and you know, just next year, and maybe start hitting the track and stuff. Set some numbers for you guys. I know you guys have been waiting for this, and I have two, but uh, I just want to get the car 100% before we go out there, guys. So that way, when we go out the track, you know, we don't have too many issues, you know, being thrown at us. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys something that happened in the background. You probably already see it. You can see the red top. All right, guys. So this right here, what you see is a B16A2, I believe it is. Let me verify. It might be an A3. I think it's an A3 actually. Uh, can't really see it, it's kind of dirty. But this is the one that came out of Dell, so I think it's a B16 A3. Uh, if you look at the specs online, it says it's about 170 horsepower uh, torque. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's a little low compared to like, of course, the K series and, you know, but it also higher than the B series. So this motor um, is something that I came across and I've always wanted a B16, never really had one. So, what I ended up doing is I had a K20, I think it was a K20 A3, one from the that's uh, RSX, base RSX. I had one of those and I hit the guy up and I was like, hey, uh, you know, are you interested in doing a trade? Of course I lost a little bit, but you know, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I just wanted to be 16 for uh, one of my future projects. So I went ahead and traded the K20 A3 and transmission for this B16 that you see right here. So with this car, with this motor, I have a couple of things, you know, pretty much up in the air right now. Um, I'm not even sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it. I thought about building this motor and maybe uh, throw it into the Del Sol. That way it has a nice little upgrade and maybe push a little bit over, you know, about six, 700 horsepower on this motor. Um, and then also, uh, you know, thought about my auto car that I got, which that car keep coming back. <laughs> I don't know why. You know, the first time I, I let it, I sold it to my buddy. Um, he couldn't get it running. And then, you know, he, uh, I guess, just had so much going on and wasn't ready for a project at the time. So, you know, I got it back from him. You know, he just couldn't handle it at the time. And then I sold it again to another friend. But before I did, the car, I actually had it running this time around. If you guys go back, you see the video when I did um, the head gasket and all that on uh, the, the Integra. And uh, so now I plan on keeping it. I, I call it the product of son, man. That car keep coming back, I swear. <laughs> you know, so this time around, I plan on keeping it. I just feel like it's meant for me to have. So 
With that being said, I plan on keeping that car. Um, I thought about doing an all motor build since I already have it. And uh, I'm not sure how you, you know, how I feel about that yet. But uh, what I might end up doing is, uh, is maybe do a LSV Tech build or maybe just build a B16, throw it in there, and then just put turbo, you know, throw a turbocharger on it. I'm not sure you guys. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment. Should I go ahead and just do an all-motor build on the Integra since I already have a turbo Honda? Or do you think I should just go ahead and just, you know, do an LSV Tech and then just maybe boost it? Um, either way, I plan on doing an LSV Tech on Integra anyways. But for a daily driver, I just feel like, you know, keeping it NA would be the right thing to do. And it would be more reliable that way and it'll still be a little, you know, it'll still be a little you know, quick. You know, because I'm sure I can get about 200 horsepower range, maybe even 300, you know. We'll see, we'll throw some cams and a little bit of work to it. I think I might be able to get 300. But let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if I should uh, do an NA build on Integra or just go ahead and boost it. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.